Hi guys, I'm Shahzad and uh, welcome in mining. Today I am going to show you how can you install and configure the HiOS for your system. And as you can see, HiOS we use HiOS for the mining. If you are planning to mine some cryptocurrencies with your GPU or some other hardware like uh, ASIC miner, so you can download the HiOS. HiOS is a very popular operating system based on the Linux. You can also download, we also have some other kind of uh, operating system for mining. So find mining OS. So you can download the simple mining and also nice hash also providing you the operating system out of the box. So if you are planning to mine. So it's totally depend upon you which operating system you are using. I always use the iOS, so that's why I'm going to show you the iOS. Okay, so now as you can see, they are saying deeply monitor, manage, and also one solutions for all your systems. And they are also saying everything is at your fingertips, blah, 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 all the, all the things available here. Okay, now you can also create the accounts, but I'm going to click on the install button. So now as you can see, this is the ASIC miner. If you have an ASIC miner hardware, you have to download this version. So we are going to mine the cryptocurrencies with GPU. Okay, so that's why I'm going to download the GPU. Okay, just click on the zip button. As you can see, the stable version is 0 0.6203. This is the stable version while I'm recording this lecture. I have already downloaded and I have so click on the download button so now as you can see it's saying 1.1 GB so this is a 1.1 GB setup so that's why it takes time to download it depends on your internet speed okay now I'm going to cancel this one because I have already downloaded the iOS okay ISO files so now as you can see this is the ISO files now how can you uh, write your ISO files or so here, as you can see, they are saying they have the Azure is recommended tool to write HiOS image. So you have image files, this one, and now just click on the Azure. So flash. Okay, now here, as you can see, it's saying download for Windows. I'm a Windows 10 user, so that's why I have to download the Windows version. Either it's a 860 or 640. If you are, if you have some other kind of operating systems like uh, Mac OS and also if you are working on Linux, so you have to download the separate version. Okay, now I am just downloading the Windows version. Just click on the button. So now as you can see, this is a 1.5.120 version. Just click on the download button. 141 MB files. So I have already downloaded, so that's why I am cancelling this one. So this is the Asha. Now, here as you can see, I have multiple drives. So, I'm going to install the HiOS uh, in this drive. So, this is the SSD drive. Okay, fine. Now, here just double click on the Azure. So, this is a portable software. You don't need to install this software. wait for a few seconds so now you have a setup just select your files so click on this one select your file so this is a, a high os iso files just now as you can see it's saying select target click on the target i have few drives so uh, this is a SATA drive i have 3 tb SATA. so the drive was r e f so as you can see, this is the SSD, Samsung SSD, 256GB. So I'm going to install the HiOS in these drives. Okay, just click on the drive. I'm saying select. So as you can see, it's saying flash. So I'm going to flash my drive to install the HiOS. Okay, so now you will realize that how quickly we are going to install the HiOS in SSD. So that's why we recommend that you have to install the HiOS in your SSD drive. So just click on the flash. So it's saying you are about to erase your computer drive. I'm saying yes, I'm sure. 
that's it it's going to start now you just need to click on the yes button So now as you can see, this is the speed, so it's burning your ISO files and inst installing the Hive OS in your SSD drive. So make sure this is your drive, we are going to install the drive. So uh, it will automatically create another two uh, partitions out of the box for you, so don't worry about it. Okay, once we install the Hive OS here so I'm going to create the form so just click on the plus button so you have to write your form name let's suppose I'm saying A G L you can also give any name it's totally up to you I'm saying Asia Karachi so auto take high pole charging 0.3% okay yes so we have created the form now I'm going to create the worker so we are going to mine with our GPU so as you can see it's saying flash flash completed it takes only uh, one minute to install the Hive OS in your drive if you are using the SSD drive but if you are installing the Hive OS in your USB drive then definitely it takes 10 to 15 minutes to install the Hive OS okay now I'm saying fine we have installed so now I'm going to give the worker name so let's suppose I'm saying uh, my first worker so you can also give as many aspects as you want let's suppose I'm saying I'm going I have few AMD cards so that's why I'm saying use AMD and also I'm saying I have Nvidia card so that's why I'm saying I'm going to select a card and this is the NVIDIA ad. You can also give your descriptions. I'm saying GPU mining. Fine. You have to create your own password. Fine. Uh, I'm going to create the password. So, sorry. ADL. So this is my password or I can generate the password. Now, keep the password. So this is my password I'm saying AMD I'm selecting Nvidia I'm saying uh, GPU mining so add okay you're saying something wrong I don't know why it's saying something wrong okay now so as you can see we have created a worker here now you have to keep your rig.config file in your SSG, SSG drive so here as you can see the drive is not showing for now I'm going to eject my drive and then reinsert in my PC so wait for a few seconds okay so now as you can see this is the high OS and it's showing us just 10 MB so it's 10 MB it's showing us 10 MB drive so now I'm saying just download the rig.config file in your G drive so this is my SSD drive I have installed the SSD drive in my G drive so make sure the name is RIG rig that's it you have successfully uh, created the form we have successfully created the worker and uh, you are ready to go so now I'm going to eject this one and I'm going to use this SSD in my uh, rig okay so now as you can see it's showing us uh, my cards so this is I have one RTX 3060 12 GB and RTX 470 and 590 sorry uh, it's RX 470 and 590 so I have changed my bio so that's why it's showing us the RX 580 so here I, I, I'm going to create a flight sheet okay now I'm saying just create the flight sheet so it's saying 
before creating the flat sheet, uh, we have to use the wallet. So now I'm saying I'm going to select some wallet. Phone, Ethermine. So I'm selecting the wallet here. So this is the wallet. Now we are going to use the wallet. Here. So go to the wallet. Create a wallet. So I'm saying I'm going to mine the Ethereum. The wallet address is this. I'm saying Ether. And you have to select the source. I'm saying uh, let's suppose Minance. Fine. So advance. Show the supported. As you can see, BTC and Ethereum is supported. Now I'm saying create. So I have created the wallet. So now go to the flat sheet, create a flat sheet. I'm going to mine the Ethereum. So Ethereum, select your wallet and pool. You have to select your pool, which pool you are selecting. Let's suppose I'm saying uh, Ethermine. I'm saying SSL. So I'm saying Asia and Europe. Apply. So here I'm saying I'm going to use the Ethermine. Select your miner. I'm saying Ethermine. Make, just click on the config file. I'm going to I'm saying just use the AMD card for this uh, worker. So I have AMD card R RX 47580. So just apply and now I'm going to create another miner. So in this time I'm saying mining Ethereum and now I'm saying uh, that Ethermine Asia and I'm saying Europe apply here I'm saying LOL mine config now I'm saying just use the device just use the AMD card sorry just use the NVIDIA card not AMD NVIDIA so apply, just click on the create flight sheet, okay now click, go to the worker and now just click on the flight sheet or flight sheet, So this is the worker flight sheet. I'm saying this is my flight sheet which I have just created. So it's changing the configuration. Okay, now it's installing the packages out of the box for you. I'm saying remote access, I've shell. I'm just going to show you. So now here as you can see it's installing the packages. Here. Control A A. So now your mining is just working. So 105 mega hash. So go to your panel. So just click on the worker. As you can see, RTX 3060 is working fine. Now I'm going to flagship. So I'm going to edit the flagship here. Uh, 
am just going to change the whole. I am saying two miners. Asia and I am selecting all the regions. Apply. And now here I am saying just select the AMD cards. Fine, you can also define the cards. Let's suppose uh, uh, I am saying I am going to use the one space two. Update. Allow worker. Wait for a few seconds. Okay, now go to the panel and uh, select your worker. Wait for a few seconds. Phoenix Miner. Now I'm saying I'm going to use the AMD cards. Apply. So we are using a Phoenix Miner now because the heat mine is not working. Now go to the overview, sections, refresh the page. So as you can see, 1 and 2 is now working fine. Now since it's working fine, uh, we are going to use the overclocking. So this is the RX470, just click on this one. Select the popular settings, select your coin select your card so as you can see 91.9 uh, so select apply and now select this one rx580 so go to the popular sets ethereum 5.3 apply fine so now as you can see it's giving us a 29 mega hash and RX470 giving us a 23 mega hash. 23 and 29. Since uh, AMD cards are now working fine, now we are going to use the RX370. So click on the flight sheet, click on the edit flight sheet. I'm going, I'm going to create another miner. I'm saying Ethereum. So this is the wallet. Now I'm saying Pole is Ethermine. I'm saying uh, Asia and Europe. Apply. Now I'm saying LOL Miner. So this is the LOL Miner. So click on the setup Miner configuration file. So click on the icons. So now I'm saying just mine the NVIDIA graphic card. I'm saying apply, update, allow worker. Click on the flight icon. So it's going to change the configuration file in your SSD drive. So go to the overview section. Refresh the page. Now, as you can see, uh, your zero drive device is working fine. So this is the RTX 3060. We are using the LOL miner for the zero device and one and two device we are we are mining with Phoenix miner. So refresh the page. So now RX470 giving you the 8.360. So 23 mega hash. Wait for a few seconds. I'm saying just refresh. 26 mega hash, 11 mega hash. So RX 580 giving us a 30 mega hash 
and also RX 470 giving us a 23 mega hash. Uh, and here, as you can see, RTX 306 is still giving us the uh, 15.81 mega hash. So refresh, 70 mega hash. Wait for a few seconds. It's auto tuning the hash rates. So it takes more than two to five second, two to five minutes to tune your graphic cards. So 17.74 since we are using the LOL miner because uh, RTX 3060 uh, never give us the full mega hash so that's why now I am saying LOL miner uh, for in high OS high OS 3060 fine so this is the forum Finally, finally today it's foreign. It's saying 3060 gaming OC 12 GB unlock with LOL Miner 1.29 and NVIDIA. This drivers fine. Where is the link? So this is the link for LOL Miner. Now you just need to change some settings. So as you can see. You have the NVIDIA driver 460.67, and here for the high OS, so this is the high OS, you need the 460.39. It's saying go to the run command and just enter this command. This icon and run this command. So run. Wait for a few minutes. Once you install or update the driver for the NVIDIA card RTX 3060. You can also click on the high shell start because I have tried one to two times, so it was not working. I don't know why. Okay, just click on the shell. Wait for the response. Okay, now as you can see it's not working. So that's why. So the command is NVIDIA driver update 460.39. Fine. Just enter the at the enter command ok 
okay it's saying uh, this version is already installed now check it again okay now as you can see we have successfully installed uh, 460.39 so that why so that's why it's saying this version is already installed okay now we have successfully installed the version so if you are if you face some problems with this command just open your remote access and just enter this code manually or this command manually okay now i'm saying that uh, reboot because we have changed the nvidia version and why we are changing because i have only uh, rtx 3060 car Okay, now it's giving you the 43 mega hash, 58 mega hash. It's auto tuning your hash rate, 67 mega hash. Seventy nine point fifty five mega So open your worker. As you can see, now your RTX two zero six zero giving you the thirty one point seventy one mega hash. It's still auto tuning your hash rate. Thirty two mega hash. So RTX four seventy giving you the. 24.24 mega hash that is 3 mega hash I am going to access the shell twenty seven mega hash minor control a a so you can see 29 mega hash So now as you can see 13, 30 mega hash, 20, 30 and 24 mega hash. So click on the settings. I am going to change the Ethereum setting or the overclocking now. Now wait for a few seconds.
so it's still auto tuning your hash rate so that's why it's not stable so 31 mega hash Thirty four mega hash, thirty five mega hash, thirty six mega hash, So, 37 mega hash. That's it. 37.32 mega hash. Okay, fine. So, in this way, you can uh, boost your hash rate or with the prior version 460.39. Now you have 92.87 mega hash.